Well, you know, uh, I think it was 2012. Two years ago, three years ago, I went to, uh, I was taken by my uh, people who does uh, all our charities and uh, various uh, help program. And uh, I, I visited uh, the Sigambot Youth uh, Center. And I spent, uh, well, I plan to spend because I'm quite busy. I was planning to spend about maybe one hour, you know. And uh, I end up, I think I did stay maybe three hours. So I was quite impressed with what I saw. I had lunch with uh, the youth, spent time with them, spoke to them. And I came away quite impressed with the program. So traditionally, we had community centers. And we wanted to, do, to have community centers uh, in Malaysia. So we, we came up with a project called Project 100. Project 100 is to establish 100 community centers throughout the rural and semi-urban um, underserved communities in Malaysia, uh, all over the country, nationwide. We wanted to serve every and any community, right from the Orang Asli, the indigenous communities, to the island communities, to the coastal communities, to the central, any communities, right from, from semi-urban, extreme rural and the, the, the whole idea of Project 100 is to provide educational services to communities and the first thing was to teach English um, and eventually IT. What, what we did was we partnered with, with Tan Sri Vincent Tan and his Better Malaysia Foundation to be able to, to get the support and the funding to, to implement because this is a great huge initiative it has never been done uh, anywhere else that we are aware of before. And in such a short time to establish from we had five community centers to now 100 was a great, great task. And the first thing we do is we develop a model where we wanted to teach housewives, besides youth and children. So housewives in the morning, we realized our teachers would live in the communities, they would be based there because that's the best way to do it. We can't do this coming and going every day. So they live there. The first thing is we teach housewives in the morning. The second thing is we teach children who finish school earlier, they come, later afternoon youths, and then at night we teach working adults. This way we could teach everyone in that community English and life skills. So, beautiful and hardworking person. <laughs> Actually, very very special because, um, like the, the the very beautiful thing about souls is that they have diversity that I have never seen in any working environments before. Uh, it's very diverse. They they have a very very big team coming from all the different nationalities and races and religions. So it's really and and the bond that we create inside souls is really really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Hey there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Itulah bila saya beritahu uh, soal uh, uh, kesan dia kepada masyarakat eh, tentang program Seoul ni uh, Satu kesan yang cukup bagus eh, jika individu tadi mengikuti sepenuh uh, program yang dibuat oleh pihak Seoul eh, Terutama dia sendiri akan dapat uh, meningkatkan di segi kemahiran bahasa dia Nama bahasa Inggeris yang diajar oleh Pak Sul Sebab uh, dalam program Sul ni saya lihat uh, Satu uh, kaedah yang cukup mudah uh, Dalam pembelajaran bahasa Inggeris Jika berbanding dengan apa yang telah diadakan di sekolah-sekolah uh, That's why bagi saya uh, Satu program yang cukup bagus uh, Kesannya cukup bagi kepada masyarakat Even though I came from a poor family Who couldn't afford private uh, education So I learned English in a government sponsored school and, uh, and I feel English is very very important so that's why I decided to uh, sort of support uh, this organization and as I said earlier I became successful and wealthy and I believe that the English language helped me a lot
without the partnership of and, and the vision actually of Tantri Vincent Tan. So Tantri Vincent Tan is 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 is, a, is 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 so passionate about English because he truly believes. He, and this is not this is not uh, for media or this. He truly believes that English has transformed his life, has given him one of the most fundamental tools for his business. Of course, there are many other characteristics, but one of the core or the core tool was English to be able to com uh, communicate internationally. And he's not just passionate, he's actually putting his money where his mouth is. So he's investing these millions to help as many underserved communities as many people in the communities to be able to truly master the language which will hopefully give them a much better chance at employability. It will give them a much better chance at having a better life. And, and only through his partnership were we able to do this. Saya harap tu dapat memberi kenumatan di sekolah harap ni. Bagi saya ni dengan Bantuan daripada SU ni Kita tengok pelajar-pelajar Yang melalui Lebih kurang satu bulan lebih Kita tengok pelajar tu dapat menguasai Bahasa Inggeris Komunikasi, komunikasi. Kita tengok pelajar-pelajar tu Bertambah yakin lah dengan dengan, dengan 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 apa yang Dia pelajar daripada SU Well, when I was there, I was very impressed uh, with the English language. Uh, I spoke to many of them and, and found out that they only learned English like four or five months, some six months ago, and they could speak. So I was very impressed with that. And I thought uh, this would be a good program to support uh, in learning English. And of course, they have other, they teach you know, other, other skills. Right? But to me, English was the most was the thing that really attracted me to support this uh, organization because I'm a firm believer in the you know in the, the English language I believe that English language is a, uh, it's an important language that everyone should know and uh, it is an economic language you know join us. So we started putting it on the internet, we started putting it uh, on, on Facebook, on the website, and step by step, we started getting applications on Idealist, you know, go abroad. We put it as, as many places as we could think of, and that's when we started getting people. And we had so many amazing people who, who joined us, who came on board and started the program. You know, and we have learned so many things along the way, you know, both good and bad, what to do, what not to do, because there is no model to copy. We had to, to start from scratch, 
uh, we made a lot of mistakes, but we also learned so much. And I think, you know, in, in a year, a year and a half, we've made amazing, amazing development where we've grown to such enormous numbers. I think SOUS, uh, SOUS program, SOUS 24-7 program of teaching English will be very useful for them after they learn the so-called the English in the, in the public school. They can come to SOUS 24, then they will really be good. To him, thanks to the Better Nation Foundation, thanks to the Bajaya Cas Foundation and the Bajaya Group, because we also work with different parts of the group, we have truly been able to bring our product, to bring our service, and serve the entire country. It's a nice feeling to have when you work in an environment and you have a very family sense in souls. No matter how big we are growing day by day, but we st we still get that, that that family value when we go back to our HQ or we meet our colleagues. Yeah, we always have that sense. So that's something which is quite hard in, to get in a lot of corporation or organization. Yeah. And it's it's an extremely um, um, empowering and an inspiring way to truly bring uh, services, to bring, to bring solutions to the communities. And this is something that makes us very passionate, makes us believe that, you know, finally we have found someone who is willing to, to, to stand by us uh, in a very big way. It's not just, okay, yes, he supports us, the entire Vajaya group, you know, the different divisions, even the senior managers in all these departments, the senior leaders, They've been fantastic, you know, in truly wanting to make a change. And to me, this is a great way forward, where these, these three sectors have to work together to implement solutions for the 21st century. We cannot operate in silos anymore because all of us have very great input into the solutions. You know, I'm personally very happy with what SOS 24 7 has achieved. And I think over the longer term or as soon as it's uh, possible, we should bring so 24-7 to everywhere in the world. For example, we can bring it to Asian countries, we can bring it to Indonesia, teach more Indonesian to speak English, bring it to Vietnam, teach more Vietnamese to speak English, bring it to Cambodia, to uh, you know Laos, uh, many other countries. And of course, we can also bring it to European countries. We can bring to the poorer European countries, like Bosnia, Serbia, Croatia, and even to Italy, to Spain. Even my personal experience that many Spanish and Italian, Italian that I have met can't speak English. And I'm sure a lot would like to have this because some of the countries' economy not doing well. They would like to have free English education. And so 24 can be done if we can get sponsors to assist us. We can bring this program there. And help so help more people in the world to speak English, so that, like I said earlier, 
if more people can communicate in one language, there will be, be better peace and harmony in the world. And it's good for the world.